I've just experienced this, is the strangest thing to me. And sometimes you can only see things in retrospect when you're looking back over your shoulder and you're realizing that God was teaching you something in the scriptures while he was doing it with you in your life. But you can't really put it together until afterwards and you, and you realize it was simultaneous. He was doing it. That while I was researching all of this, he was doing this in my life and in the ministry at Living Proof. I, I'll just tell you just in a nutshell that, that ab about three years ago, I was absolutely positive I have killed this ministry. That, that my outspokenness, which I did not regret, and I've been outspoken since that time and did not regret that either. But that does not mean it is not costly. And I will tell you that I was, at, I thought, you have blown it up. I mean, this, this is beyond recovery. I, I truly believed that it was. And so what we did at Living Proof, what I started doing, I thought, you know, since you've blown up the whole thing, I, you know, all I've ever really wanted to do is just do people some good in the name of Jesus. Help them see the word come to life in the name of Jesus. I thought, okay, we'll go local. We've got, we'll just, you know what? And I don't know, we'll, we're going to run out of money and, and, and I'll have to start cutting back staff at some point. But right now, we're just going to, we're going to minister in the community. So that's what we started doing. We just started having, we'll just, let's just think local. Let's just think local. And so we kept having events out there, but sure enough, they were being affected. We are just like, let's, let's just zero in here. Let's just zero in here. And, and so we started doing all sorts of things. We started having local events that didn't have any frills to them whatsoever. We just began just meeting together. Like in the work clothes we wore that morning, just come together. Like if you need water, go, there's a water fountain out in the hall. I mean, just simplest things we could possibly do. But the, the big, the big, the big uh, game changer for us was that we began on Tuesdays. Every single week, we started on Tuesdays having an hour from 12 to 1 every single Tuesday where we simply opened our doors and said, if you need prayer, stop by. We'll pray for you. This door is open for a solid hour for anybody that wants to stop by for prayer. We put out old school signs in front of the ministry that say, um, need prayer? Turn in. And so we just began opening our doors. In the very beginning, maybe there were like four. Uh, sometimes there would be like seven. Sometimes there's been as many as, as 31 or 32. It varies from week to week. But I've got to tell you something. It put us back face to face with people where our hands were on their warm, um, their warm flesh and bones, where we were face to face with people. It was and still is to this day and was today, though we had to do it by phone and next week we'll do it by Zoom. It still is the smallest thing we do at Living Proof and it brought us completely to life. And somehow in that cutback, he sure enough cut us back over the last couple of years, but he cut us back and then he began to grow us. And we began starting to minister to people that had never been part of anything we'd ever done. And, and lots of the ones that had been around a while, maybe they drifted off, but maybe they came back. Maybe they didn't, but it was just that God was bringing us back to life in a whole new way. And we were seeing him do something unprecedented at the ministry. Cutting us back to grow us, not always in size. Remember, to the vine dresser, it's about the quality, not the quantity. 